Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Source. I just uploaded a Rutgers Temple video. Make sure you check that out. It's got my pick for it in there. This video, we're talking, we're back in the Big Ten. We're talking Ohio State Buckeyes on the road in Minnesota. Let's break it down and make a pick. Welcome to The Source. The Source. The Source. Hey, get the suez. All right, like I said, Buckeyes at Gophers, Tuesday morning, early morning at 1 a.m. The line is Minnesota plus 14, and yep, as you suspected, everyone's betting the Buckeyes. Here's just another game with no line movement, but that's not that strange. There's really, Tuesday and Wednesday aren't the craziest days uh, for betting action. So it's not that uncommon for the line to not move on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. That's why I really need to check it tomorrow. By the way, all this money tracking is on my website, kylekerms.com, on the members page. Anyway, here we are on Wednesday night. Money is still all over Ohio State, and the line is still Minnesota plus 14. All right, so let's do it. Let's cap this game. Ohio State, Minnesota. Minnesota's at home. We plug them in here. According to last year's numbers, now these are last year's numbers, but according to last year's numbers, the line should be Minnesota plus 23.4 they say the gophers should be getting 23.4 points in this game so the spreadsheet's giving us a heavy lean on ohio state in my opinion the only reason this line is stuck at 14 is the public the books the media everyone is really hung up at the quarterback change in ohio state yet yeah, to the casual spectator it definitely did look like justin fields was the entire buckeye offense last year i understand if you think that but the truth is ohio state right now has three quarterbacks on their roster roster that can cover this 14 point, point spread on the road against Minnesota. CJ Stroud is going to be starting, but Jack Miller could also hop in right now, cover this spread. Also, they got Quinn Ewers, 18 year old true freshman who's looking like he might have a shot to be the best quarterback prospect of the next five years. But when you're talking Ohio State football this year, you don't even need to mention the quarterback, at least not in the early weeks. I mean, you're talking about possibly the best offensive line in the entire country with definitely the best left tackle in the whole country. You're talking about possibly two first round pick wide receivers. Well, definitely one in Garrett Wilson Jr. But Chris Olave is coming back. I think he had 800 yards, huge deep ball threat. I don't know his stats from last year offhand. Huge that he's returning for this year. Oh yeah, and they have a seasoned veteran running back coming back. Master Teague is still there, still running the ball for this team. Instead of me just rambling on and on about how stacked Ohio State is, why don't I just get to the shorter list, which is why might someone bet Minnesota in this game? And in my opinion, there is one solid reason why it might be a good idea to bet the Gophers here. So Minnesota returns Tanner Morgan at quarterback. Now he's coming off an extremely disappointing junior year, but he was a beast his sophomore year. And I mean, this year he's going to be a four year starter, a rare four year starter at quarterback here. Take that and couple it with the fact, if I had to ask you, what is Ohio State's weakness? What would you say? I mean, probably none, right? I mean, they don't really have a weakness, but which unit would you say is Ohio State's weakest? You would probably have to say they're pass rushing, right? I mean, they really missed Chase Young last year. That was definitely the weak link of their squad last year. Um, probably the weakest link of their squad looking into this year. So you take a veteran four-year starting quarterback in Tanner Morgan, who has shown us he has potential to be really good, couple that with maybe a not-so-elite Ohio State pass rush, maybe he has some time in the pocket. Yeah, I can see Minnesota covering 14 points if you're going to go with that narrative. Here's the thing, though. I'm not one of those people going with that narrative. I think if you take the quarterback away, Ohio State is the best roster top to bottom in the entire country, and yeah, Later down, later in the season, Big Ten Championship, playoffs, that quarterback's probably going to come into play and going to show, but it's not going to show in a week one game against Minnesota. I'm probably going to end up rolling with the Buckeyes. I'm probably going to lay the 14 points. I'm not absolutely crazy about it, but I will say that this bet probably will end up on the final ticket. I also really like that first half under at 31 and a half. Um, I could see Ohio State's defense coming out with a lot of energy, shutting Minnesota down, but I could also see Ohio State's offense coming out with a little bit of a conservative strategy, letting C.J. Stroud spread his wings a little bit before they open the game up. 31 and a half is a big number. I'll take Ohio State minus 14 and the first half under 31 and a half. Now, Make sure you check the picks tab tomorrow to make sure nothing's changed. If anything crazy happens, last minute changes, I'll put it on my Twitter, Instagram story, and Facebook. 
Um, but as of right now, I'd say both of those bets will end up on the ticket. Really pumped to watch some college football. Nice little Thursday night here. Remember, we got a long season of college football and NFL. We're not overreaching in week one. Play conservatively, pick your spots, and let's turn a profit this season, man. Let's make some money. I'll talk to you on Twitter.